Welcome to Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited. Now we are going to see a case study on pump. Identifying early defects in pumps. Even though the vibration is well within limits, this is applicable for all types of industrial pumps except reciprocating pumps. Case study prepared by Vijaya Krishnan Vinugapal, Director of Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited Chennai. He is a chartered engineer with more than 35 years of experience. He is an international vibration consultant and ISO certified vibration analyst CAT3 certificate holder. Also he is certified maintenance and reliability professional from SMRP. The pump we are going to see are coupled directly with motor of capacity 30 to 50 kilowatt and running at 2975 rpm. Pump is mounted on a steel frame on concrete floor at ground level without any anti-vibration mounting. Vibration measurements are taken in all three directions, horizontal, vertical, axle, in each locations. Measurement locations are motor non-drive end bearing, motor drive end bearing, pump drive end bearing, pump non-drive end bearing. Vibration data are collected in terms of displacement in microns peak to peak and velocity in millimeters per second peak. Now onto the vibration limits. As per ISO standard, and with our previous experience, when the velocity falls below 6.58 mm per second peak it's considered as good. When the velocity falls between 6.58 to 15.8 mm per second peak it is considered as fair. And when the velocity falls above 15.8 mm per second peak it is considered to be rough. Vibration data are collected. The vibration values are maximum at motor drive and horizontal, velocity up to 5.0 mm per second peak with displacement of 42 microns peak to peak. And at pump drive and horizontal, velocity up to 5.9 mm per second peak with displacement of 45 microns peak to peak is observed, and the equipment health condition is good. Even though vibration level are well within limits, and equipment falls under good category, on going through the spectrum and frequencies at motor drive end, dominant peak frequencies are 1 times 3 times, higher order frequencies and 2 times running RPM observed indicating bearing inaccuracies and misalignment between motor and pump, and looking at pump driven end, dominant peak frequencies are 2 times 3 times, and 1 times running RPM indicating misalignment between motor and pump. The equipment is analyzed to have misalignment between motor and pump, and minor bearing inaccuracies indicated at motor drive end. As per analysis the suggestion action are as follows. Achieve precision alignment between motor to pump location as per good engineering practice. Inspect the motor drive end bearing for its inaccuracies, and if required rectify the same. Carry out inspection. Rectification in case the vibration velocity exceeds 11.0 mm per second. Vibratech cater among all major industrial sectors. We conduct vibration analysis level 1 and 2 training programs online and also in plant. ISO certified vibration analyst category 1, category 2, category 3 training and examination. Services we provide are vibration analysis, in situ dynamic balancing, laser alignment, motor current signature analysis, thermography, building or ground vibration measurements. We also market and provide service for machinery vibration analyzers and meters and low frequency building vibration analyzers.